as if we needed something else to worry about right now. To be clear, we don't have the Asian giant hornet in Iowa and we don't want them. Their size alarming, but the impact they could have on our plants and our pollinators is equally scary. The Asian giant hornet can be really problematic uh, in the United States specifically because it is an invasive species. So this flying pest first showed up and now it is an all out sprint to find that nest to wipe out the colony before more hatch. We do have a response team ready to uh, rope the area off and perform an eradication, uh, which will uh, uh, essentially destroy most of the hornets. Five times the size of your traditional honeybee and a sting, as you can imagine, very painful. Now, deaths are very rare unless someone is stung multiple times and has some sort of allergic reaction. Regardless, they don't belong here, and there's an all-out hunt right now. Teams even using infrared cameras to find that nest before mid-September. That's when those new queens and drones will hatch. These hornets are expanding out the size of their colonies for one big push at the end of the year. In the fall, if we can actually catch them now at this early point in their development, we can eradicate these organisms so that they do not become established in other states. Our Verify team has covered this story, debunking social media images like this. And they're not called murder hornets. The biggest threat these bugs pose is to the honeybee population. They are crucial to pollinating plants. So here in Iowa, we're all rooting for folks in Washington state to keep these pests from coming east and impacting our ag sector, which is responsible for over a quarter of our state's economy. In studio, Elias Johnson, Local 5 News, we are Iowa.